In this video we're going to talk about the latest update from Lumion, Lumion 10.3. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another Garden Design Tools video. We're going to talk about the latest update that went live this week from Lumion, Lumion 10.3. So basically we have three main uh, features, novelties in this update. Uh, displacement mapping, you can now upload your own displacement mapping, which is pretty cool. Um, we have live sync for AutoCAD, okay? And we have in the setting of the reflection planes, when you're doing the set the effect of reflection planes in your rendering, it now automate, automatically detects the reflection planes. You don't have to add the reflections plane. Saying that, I tested in one of my uh, models and um, I saw that it didn't detect the water uh, reflection like I wanted in that specifically in that specific um, model but I'll show you the model in a bit uh, but it detect all the glass on it so it's pretty cool you just need to make sure that it's detecting all the reflection planes exactly okay uh, so uh, I'm gonna add the the link to the blog post so you check it out displacement uh, map um, is amazing and especially with uh, textures like this natural textures stone uh, stone walls it, it looks amazing so um, Lumion 9.5 and Lumion 10 had a lot of polygon textures with the D if you remember it had a, a, a D in the texture that's uh, that means that it has the displacement mapping but now you can upload as well the displacement mapping I'll show you in a bit in the program uh, and you have live sync now for AutoCAD, like it works with uh, uh, SketchUp, with Revit, etc. So, um, a lot of people that do uh, terrain modeling, etc., they work with uh, SketchUp or Revit. Uh, so, I presume that's the, the most, the programs that they are more important. But now you have live sync for AutoCAD as well, if you're working uh, straight from AutoCAD. So, that's pretty cool. Again, displacement mapping, I'll show you in a bit in the program. And that's it. Okay, I'll put the link uh, in the in the in the description of this video. Okay, so let's check it out in the program. So basically, now in the textures. So I added this texture. Websites like I'm going to show you here. Websites like the one from Polygon. You have some free uh, textures, and you have always. Um, I'll I'll do. It. This is the one that I download. So you always have these maps, okay? So now you have displacement mapping. Let me deselect. If you download the, the variation one, okay, you have displacement mapping for that variation, okay? You have other variations. So you, and you can now uh, download and upload into Lumion. So basically, in the materials tab, if I select this tab, now you have this one here okay you used to have only two if you remember so you could just download the image and the normal map of that image but now you can um, download displacement and it appears here this step so okay so this is you need to to test it out uh, to check it out don't exaggerate okay because i'm gonna show you you can exaggerate it. So displacement is basically the relief. Okay, so this is really exaggerated. Okay, just just to have that in consideration. But if you add just a little bit, it's amazing the difference this makes in getting your renderings really that more naturalistic feel to to the image. Okay, it's amazing. Uh, what I like to add as well, especially in stone and in uh, wood. Uh, and in metal as well. I like to put a little bit uh, weather, uh, weathering, just a little bit. And this is things that normally you see more in the in the final images of the rendering. Okay, uh, but this is something I always I always do as well as the edges in things like stone or wood, um, metal. I don't curve the edges. I just make this straight. So displacement mapping, that's pretty cool. I had a few pictures in the end of this video for you to check it out. Um, um, but that's a pretty cool novelty. And that's what makes really uh, uh, Lumion stand out. Okay, when you do final images, it's much more crisp. The image is much more realistic. Okay, so let's check it out to reflection planes. 
let's just do a quick image so imagine this is a shot that I want, okay? So I have a key in here a big problem with because I have stone wall inside the house as well, but that's not the point of this video. Um, that's something I need to work it out. But mainly in this shot, I have glass and I have the water feature that I'm hoping he, 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 he recognizes uh, for reflection planes, okay? Uh, let me see where this reflection is in here. So I'm not going to add any, 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 any other effect right now. I just want to show you the reflection plane. So now when you click in reflection plane, so it's just here a little advice of what we already know that reflection planes, adding a lot of reflection planes really slow down your workflow. Okay. Really slow down the rendering time. But now you have here, you can still add on your own or you have here, uh, automatic, um, detect okay so he detected six let me just check that he actually i think this time i did this once and it, it didn't detect the water it detect the metal on the sides okay because this is all metal but it didn't detect water let me just check it out that he actually did the water it's really slow right now Okay, I think it detect water. Sorry, guys. Okay, this time it did detect water. Okay, but what? Um, I did this once and it didn't. Or oh, is detecting the metal? I'm not sure. I, I think now it detect the water. It's a bit difficult to say. You just need to confirm. But in general, it works. It works pretty well. Okay. Uh, you just need to make sure that that uh, that the the image really detects. So and that's you know if you if you because every time you're doing reflection planes you do it a shot by shot okay so you don't add other reflection planes because it will slow down that doesn't appear in that in that uh, in that um, in that shot specifically okay um, so this is a pretty cool way to do it quickly just to to make sure that the reflection plane added are the ones just in that shot so it doesn't uh, doesn't get your workflow slower so that's it that's uh, that's the 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 novelties of 10.3 uh, lumion you know we are, i talk about and i'm am excited about twin motion programs and things like this but when you get to Lumion, everything is slower. The rendering process is slower. The animation is much slower than in, Lu in than in Twin Motion, but the quality is still very far away from Twin Motion. Okay, it's so much better in terms of the the the, the effects and the, the crisp and the sharpness of the final image. So I still I, I think Twin Motion has a bit to go, uh, but it's definitely. Um, it's definitely a cool, cool program in terms of budget if, you, if you're if interested, okay? So see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, stay at home and play with your garden projects, doing renderings and uh, getting your uh, images really cool. Okay, see you guys in the next video.